Big Star. Welcome incarnate Moon and Star. Reborn, Horted or Nevarin, Murder of the Tribe Unwarned, Redeemer of the False Gods. I am Big Star. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Ask and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. You bear the moon and star, the ring of Nerevar. None may deny it. You are Nerevar reborn, the prophesized incarnate. The temple will know you as an enemy. Ordinators will mark you for mark you for death. The tribunal faithful of their great houses will hate and fear you. The doctors of the tribes will test your strength and doubt your honor. You will be known. You must prepare and be ready. Hmm. You must go before the counselors of the great houses and satisfy them. For only the councils of the great houses can name you Hortator. I do not know the settled people of the great houses and can offer you no counsel. You must go before the Ashhans of the waste people and satisfy them. For only Ashhans of the tra four tribes can name you Nerevarin. Speak first to Satsuma Tool of the Urchileiku. Feel the wise woman Niba Nimeza for all the Ashlanders. They are wisest in the lore of the incarnate. And you have already shown Suma Tool proof of your worth. Mm. Pity Dag of Ur and the Sixth House. All they do, all they are, is foul and evil, but they begin in brightness and honor. And the cause of their fall was their loyal service to you, Lord Merivar. You told Lord Dagov to guard the profane tools beneath Red Mountain, and thus he was tempted. He did your bidding when he tried to keep these tools from the tribunal. And, and so he hates you who betrayed him, and the tribunal who mocked his honor, attacked him, and saw the profane tools for their own use. Hegrinik, high priest of the Dwimer, forged enchanted artifacts to steal the power of the gods, and reward for the Dwimer to prevent this blasphemy. But Degafur took these tools to make himself a god, and the tribunal took these tools to make themselves gods. Though the tribunals sought to do good with their power, they are tainted by the same corrupt desires and that move Dagot Ur. Mm. I am failed incarnate. So are all who remain here with me in the cavern of the incarnate. I survived the blight, but I fell in battle with Ash Vampire. I could not master the arts of war. Nor could I learn the ways of the great houses. They would not have accepted me as Hortator. Take these few poor things, they are of no use to me. Mm, pity. I will answer when I can and with what I can. But the visions of Azura are often obscure for two reasons. One, because the future cannot be known, and choices may always be made. Two, because truth is not clear or simple. Azura's riddle warns us to think long and hard. So they force us to search carefully for truth and meaning, and not to rely only on impulse and force. Mm. Okay. What did you give me? Travel stain pants, levitation. I don't need them either. What else? Embroidered belt, 45 willpower. No. What about you? I, Aineteria. Welcome, Incarnate. I am Aineteria. I was not the one, but I wait and hope, ask, and I shall tell you my story. I was a holy crusader of the temple in the golden era of the Tribunate. I contributed substantially to the writings that were later suppressed by the temple and now will be called Apocrypha. I followed the tribunal. Question, to my regret, I never 
believed in the Nerevarian prophecies until it was too late. Keep my humble positions with my blessing. Hmm. I am Interia, I was called the prophecies, but I was not the one. An ancestor has no trade, but to guard and counsel the living king. Give me a book. Hmm. And something else. What did she give me? Books? Interior Mace. Ah, see, she gave me a weapon. Damage, speed, damage, agility. Okay, that's not bad. Although, it's too cheap. I don't need it. You can have it. one error then welcome here Conrad I'm Aaron then I wasn't the one but I wait and hope ask and I shall tell you my story I saw Morvin fall to the Empire I lived through the humiliation of the surrender swore hatred and vengeance against Imperial and tribunal alike for their betrayals in later years I spared and turned to Red Mountain, where I grew old and died fighting the Blight and Red Mountain monsters. Take my weapons and armor, I have no further use for them. Mm. The darkness is on the land and only you can bring the light. Rest and spear, okay. Medium armor, I don't need it. Spear, horrible. No wonder that you died. Mm. Idrimi Nerofan. I was not the one. I lived in the late years of the tribunate, and behind the scenes I helped us demoralize, then repel the Akave invaders. I knew nothing of the Nerevarin or Daig of Ur until I took refuge with the Ashlanders. I died a fool, trying to loot ruined Kogoron. Here, take this. Maybe there is something in the world left worth stealing. Konul Chodala. I was Ashhan. I led my people against the Akaviri while the Cyrodiil dogs fled before them like Kaguti. I quested deep into the strongholds and of... I quested deep into the strongholds and Red Mountain, cleansing the unclean things in their own blood. I did not heed the counsel of the woman, and to my shame I craved glory, but never saw my real enemies. My axe and boots are yours, with my blessing. Hmm. Okay, I like it. 
What about the boots? White armor. No, I don't need it. Fortlet. Mm. I died 400 years ago in the last days of Turmeril and unrest after the Empire came to Morrowind. I was a singer and not a doer, and though I was marked by the stars, I was not a hero. Take the things of mine, my bones won't complain. Sifis. This is a book, I have it. Hortlet's rope, okay. She'll turn on that. No, I don't need it. Yeah, I have it. I already read it. Okay. So I have completed the third trial. Personality, speechcraft, okay, I see, I see. Mm. Well then I have, I can recall back, I guess. Farewell. Ghosts. Walk with virtue, outlander. You have passed the third trial, before you lies the fourth trial and the fifth trial. I have spoken with Nibani Meza and I know these trials. You wish to be called Urshilik on Erevarin, but first you will hear the Council of Sulmatul. So you have faced the third trial in the caverns of the Incarnate? Tell me what you saw and heard there. You listened carefully with no sign of feelings. It is as Nibani Meza says, perhaps you are chosen one. We shall see. Okay. Council of Suma too. Good, first I will give you a warning. When you are called Nerivarin, the word must spread and many must hear. Your enemies will hear and come seeking your blood. And such friends as you may have among the great houses, those who heed the words of the temple, they may have forget their love for you. If you have business with the people of the houses and temple, you may wish to conduct that business first, before you are named Nerevarin. Second, I tell you, I seek the counsel of the wise woman Nibani Meza, for you are an outlander and ignorant of the ways of our people. Nibani Meza can tell you of their of other tribes, of their ways and of other Ashhans. You do not know these things, you will make many mistakes and waste precious time. That is my counsel. Now, if you wish to be named Urshilei Kunerivarin, we may speak of these things. Mm. Very well, you wish to be called Nerevarin. I know you and I am disposed to do so, but first you may speak of need and duty. Before I name you Nerevarin, you must understand why a war leader is needed, so you may tell others. And before I name you Nerevarin, I must see that you know your duty. Only when we have spoken of these things sh shall you be called Nerevarin. Mm. Know the words of the prophecies, the curse of Degif Ur and the sixth house threatens our land. The false gods lie and offer false hope of protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerevar, Azura's hand is upon you. There are proofs you must show to all people. As Urshila Ikunerevarin. Mm -hmm. From Unmourned House have come forth the seven curses. The sixth house is a great evil and a great danger to all people. This is the need. You have to see in this need. You have fought the sixth house. You have known the curse of Corpus. You have harrowed Kogorun and seen the darkness that lies within. 
when you tell your story others may be shown the proofs mm. you have learned the lies of the tribunal and the false hope they offer of protection from the of Ur we have heard the priest's own words of the apographer and we know them to be true we have heard the words of the dissident priest and we know them to be true the false gods have broken their promises we have taken up the tools of the enemy this is a great evil and a great danger mm. you shall be near the of all tribes and hoarded of of all as great houses you shall eat the sin of the unborn house and free the false gods you must defeat the sixth house and dig of ur you must free the tribunal from their curse this is the burden of prophecy this shall be your duty as urshileik on erevarin okay before before my harf and kin and before the the people of the wastes, I name you Urshileiko and Rivarin, or leader of the Urshileiko and protector of the people. In token of this, I give you the thief, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer, that you are the Rivarin, and that the Urshileiko shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead, or until you give us his back into my hands. Okay. Thief of the Urshileiko. Okay. What about the other tribes, though? What about the Ahimuza? The Mika Ahimuza. The Grazians are weak in arms in a terrible way, driven from their best grazing grounds by besieged and besieged by monsters in Ahimuza camp in the dis distant northeast. The wise women of the Ahimuza, Shinamon Mirpal, is also their Archhan. If you can help them with strength with arms, of arms, they should welcome you with open arms. Okay. Mm, what about Arabensium? The world loving Arabensium with Mulakmar are bad people badly led. The Ashlanders of Arabensium camp are greedy and cruel and have no respect for Ashlander custom. Ashhan Ulaf Pal is ruthless and arrogant and they surround himself with Gulakans, like himself, blood will be spilled, let it not be yours. There is one Gulakan of their tribe, Hanan Amu, who might be shaped as a new Ashhan. He is a weak reed, but his wise woman, Mani Rai, is strong and resourceful. Seek her counsel. Okay. The fourth trial. The fourth trial is to join the three great houses of Vardenfield under one Hortatur. You must be named Hortatur in turn by Ho House Redor and House Hlaro and House Telvani. I know little of the ways of the great houses, but first I would try the Redoran for their warriors, Hartfield, but straightforward. Then I would try Hlaro for those they are weak and spoiled, they are cunning and crafty. Save the Telvani for the last. Anyone who is not afraid of 2000 year old wizard is a fool. Okay. The Hans of the Great Houses are called Counselors. The Hans of House Redoran meet in a great crab shell in a place called Aldran. You must find these Counselors and persuade them to name you Hortator. I know little of the settled people. You must go there and learn for yourself. Okay. House Hlal of the Hans, called counselors, the Hans meet in a place on a river far away, they call the place Balmora, Stonewood in our speech. You must find these counselors and persuade them to name you Hortator. I can tell you nothing about these people, you must go there and learn for yourself. Okay. Lalu. They meet in the very strange place, I'm told. They call it Sadrif Mora, which means forest of the mushrooms in our tongue. I have heard that Telvani live in a giant mushrooms. I'm sure it is a very bad place, but you must go and find their counselors. Okay. Mm. 